want to take your game to the next level, you want to be a world champion, take the Friday training stack. Victor Conte's Friday training stack has brought me to the next level. Everything that I take on a daily basis, the Friday training stack is the best thing out right now. Devin Haney, I'm Snack Strong. Get it now, right now. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, well, I'm middleweight now. I can I can put on the pounds and not worry about it. But it all all matters about performance, not how I look. Yeah. Well, you're clearly a lot more muscular than him. Yeah. I I feel nice and strong. Definitely my shoulders, my my chest, everything's got put muscle on. Your movement, not been. I mean, he alluded to that as well. He said you're now heavier. You won't be able to move as well. Yeah, but I've been working the legs. Glenn's made sure I've done a lot of explosive leg work uh, to counter the extra size. So I'm definitely moving just as fast on my legs. You feel comfortable in the new skin, Jeff, the new body, and feel good? Yeah, I feel, I feel good. I'm nice and relaxed at this time. Normally I feel drained and I need to go and I can't even talk to you guys. So uh, I feel nice and fresh and, and ready to go. And there won't be any dramas when the real one comes later this hour? No, nah, there's no dramas. Um, I make weight easy, and I'm going to do it easy this time. You've talked about your increased punching power, but also you're up a division, you're getting hit by heavier guys. I mean, how, how's that prospect? You, you're capable yeah. for that? Yeah, I'll be versing a heavier guy, and he's going to be obviously punching harder as well, but I've made sure that I've been sparring some nice heavy guys. I've even been sparring against um, Hardman, who's on the undercard of this one, and he's not a real big boy and hits hard. So. I've been sparring some big boys, and uh, I don't think that's going to change. The dream scenario, Jeff, to finish it early, right? I mean, how realistic oh. is that? Oh, definitely. Everyone likes going home early. I keep saying that. And um, the dream scenario is to make this one quick. Uh, just like Mundine, when I wasn't expecting that one to be as quick. But if this one can be just as quick or or pretty early in the fight, I'll be very happy. I do think that was your nice small rounds under your belt, a bit of weight going into a bit of weight. Yeah, that's true. I would like the rounds as well. I, I need to get that the rounds at that weight, and uh, Michael's a good test, and he'll put me through those rounds, I'm sure. Any predictions then, Jeff, how it's going to finish, when it's going to finish? Oh, look, it, it's hard to predict, but I, I do predict, predict me winning, but it's just how is the question, whether it's going to be on points or whether it's going to be a knockout, that's a good question. You think, you, sorry, go on, Adrian. Physically, this would be the toughest test of you. I mean, you've obviously out of quality Yeah, definitely. It's going to be physically one of the toughest bouts I've had. Michael's young, he's, he's strong, he's big. It's going to be a physical contest, that's for sure. And you said in the preamble there it'll be a war. I mean, is that what you really think? It's going to go to distance, it's going to be a slugfest? I do think it's going to be a war and I do think it's going to be a slugfest. It's just going to be non-stop. I know this guy comes in super fit. I've seen his past fights and he's pretty much non-stop as well and he can box so uh, I don't know what Michael Zaraf is going to turn up on the day but I'm sure it's going to be a, a, a very good one.